Find the slope of the terminal ray with an angle theta equals 3 pi over 4. All right, so, what, so I have 3 pi over 4. What's the slope of the terminal ray mean? Well, usually if I'm asked to deal with terminal rays and angles and stuff like that, we have unit circle stuff. So let's draw that out. So, you know, unit circle is right there. Let me scooch this down because I can never get these right the first time I draw it out. Let me see. 3 pi over 4 is 3 quarters of my way from 0 to pi. So 3 pi over 4 lives in that middle dot right there. Now, terminal ray means that guy compared to that guy. So that's my theta, and my theta exists at 3 pi over 4. Well, how do I find the slope of that? Well, if this is 0, 0, and I know that 3 pi over 4 on the unit circle gets me negative root 2 over 2 and positive root 2 over 2. If I know that, then I could just kind of use, you know, the slope formula up 1 over 2. Wait a minute. This is tangent. <gasps> I'm finding the tangent. Oh, because the tangent of my angle is just y over x. Oh, so tangent is the slope of the terminal ray. Oh, this all makes sense now. So in order to find the slope of the terminal ray, I'm going to find the tangent of that angle right there. So the tangent is found by doing y over x. So tangent of 3 pi over 4 is going to equal my y value, which is root 2 over 2, over my x value, which is negative root 2 over 2. Well, root 2 over 2 over root 2 over 2 is 1. So root 2 over 2 over its negative self is negative 1. So this is a perfect up 1 over 1 slope. And that kind of makes sense because, again, this guy is directly in the middle. So this lives at a perfect diagonal in between the y-axis and the x-axis. So, yeah, I guess that would be a slope of negative 1. Well, interesting how everything ties together. Tangent. <laughs>